Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome again to Tech UK. Welcome back to another new game that's out at midnight tonight, uh, midnight last night, so it's it's out now. MotoGP 21. Um, I played some of MotoGP 20 and it got me back into the feeling of motorbike games and then Ride 4 come out and that's predominantly where my focus has been, although I haven't played either of them very, very much. We have played a few multiplayer nights uh, on the channel and they're fantastic games. Uh, MotoGP is out. Um, you've got the full, obviously it's a bit like F1, you've got the full roster of tracks, cars, you've got historic um, MotoGP in there as well. It's, I've been playing it for a few hours now, it's very, very good, very, very challenging as Ride 4 is, it, or it is for me anyway, I find it, I find motorbike games very, very challenging, I really do. Um, they're very rewarding once you get the lines right and once you learn a bike and understand how the corner is it's just so different from a car racing game um, and that reward really does come but very very challenging so we're gonna go through we're gonna have a look we're gonna have a chat we're gonna have a play for a couple of hours I might open up a multiplayer lobby of it if people have got it just gonna chill out just gonna play the game for a couple of hours that's exactly what we're gonna do yeah, that is one of the things. Um, yeah, that is one of the things that I think makes this game harder for me. I can do a racing game all day long and look at the chat, right? With a bike game, I can't seem to do it. If I look away, um, I, my concentration just just goes, and it, it, and it, that is a bit of a problem. We did start up doing multiplayer nights on Ride Four, but I'm racing. I'm looking at the chat, and suddenly I'm like, oh god, I'm off, and you can't catch up. But yes. It's all good, that's what we're going to do. Uh, don't know what else to do, the new PlayStation 4 update won't install for me. Oh, I don't know, Marzi. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Um, let me say um, some lovely hellos, then I'll take you through the menus, take you through the basics of what I know so far. I've had it for a couple of days, but I haven't had a huge amount of time to play it, so I'm certainly not going in as an expert. It's more like a live review. We're just playing it together, uh, giving you some information about the game, whether you want to buy it, whether you don't want to buy it, you can use this video somehow to help make your mind up. But uh, who have we got? Uh, Philip, Marzi, we've got Richard, Madman, Joseph, Parazil, O'Neill, Gordon, PJ, we've got Steve. Um, yeah, actually, pick your bike up. There's a, there's a good feature in this about that, which I'll show you. Um, we got uh, Baz, Madman, Peter Kitchen, Jigsy, hello, Mustang, hello, uh, Watford, morning, handsome. Morning, Mick. Greybeard the first. Cyber's here. What do you think of it, Cyber? Cyber is a, um, a a big player of the Ride series, and I think he used to play MotoGP as well. So um, yeah, he plays this a lot. So he'll, he'll be able to give you his opinion as well. Hello, Beard. How are you, Darren Turner? Hello, Wayne. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. You're welcome back, though. Hello, Joseph. Deflick. <laughs> Deflick. <laughs> it makes me laugh now when I say that. I'm not changing it though. Hello, Kyle. Hello, back. Hello, Harold. How are you? I'm trying to work out what Harold's avatar is. For some reason, it looks rude to me. I just can't seem to work it out. <laughs> Two wheels are much harder than four wheels to drive. Yes, they are, yeah. I'm so up for this game. Awesome, Steve. Well, hopefully I can um, remember I'm not here to sell you a game. That's not my job, and that's not what I try to do. I just want to show it to you, right? I don't, I don't do scores. I don't do review points. We just chat about it, um, and then hopefully you can use that to make your mind up. Uh, Mad for it, how you doing? Did you see that new trailer for new bike game Sims Racing? I haven't, um, Richard. No, I haven't. Right, let's get on with it. Is that music too loud or is it all good? Oh, Cyberpunk, back of head. Okay. Looks like a willy to me, Harold, but yeah, sure. <laughs> right, okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, let me know if uh, the music's alright. I've got a cheeky cup of tea, yeah? Hello Rockstar, how are you mate? Right, okay, so, it's by the same people that do Ride, um, Deflick, is it, might change it to Def. oh, yeah, please do, yeah, yeah, you should definitely change it to Deflick, absolutely, <laughs> thank you Deflick, I appreciate that, yeah, all good. So, it's quite a simplistic, um, it's quite a simplistic menu system, very simplistic actually, and there's not, there's not a huge amount, um, to the game, it's a pure racing game, you know, this is, I suppose, what this, so from what I've been playing, now forget about the sim model, forget that. It's a bit like Ride 4 is Gran Turismo, right? Think of it like that. 
lots of different classes, lots of different things to do, more of a fun experience, more of an all-encompassing, um, uh, you know, beautiful experience of bikes. That's what Ride 4 feels like to me. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. This feels more like something like a Seto Corsa Competizione, ACC, which is a trimmed down, not so much trimmed down, but focused. This is focused, obviously, on the MotoGP season. You know, there's not, um, there's not FZRs and GSXRs. These are MotoGP bikes. So it sort of feels like Ride 4 is like Gran Turismo, and this is a bit like ACC. They're, they're, they're the same, but they're in very different camps. Now, I don't know whether um, you agree with that. And I don't think that Ride 4 is even more casual. I don't even think that because the handling model, we'll play it and we'll chat about it. It almost feels like this is a little bit easier to race than Ride 4 because you're riding bikes that are set up for the track and they feel a lot more comfortable. Sometimes with Ride 4 you can go into the, the faster bikes and they're sort of road bikes and, and they, they, they're always snatching. They, these bikes don't do that because they're designed to be where you're racing them. So in a way, in a funny kind of way, this feels, the handling model feels easier than Ride 4. But the competition's fiercer. It's MotoGP. Um, we will discuss that more, and we'll see if we still agree with that by the end of the stream. But from the couple of hours that I've had, um, that that's what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, Ride 4 is slightly more casual. Yeah, no, yeah, it's definitely more casual because you can race a bit of everything, and it's got it's, it oozes that love for bikes, doesn't it? Like Gran Turismo oozes that love for cars. ACC oozes competition and and focus, and that's what I think MotoGP does as well. I am playing it on the PlayStation Five, so the haptic feedbacks do work. They're not mind blowing; they're just enough to give you a bit of a feeling about the bike. I think they're sort of it's like a happy medium, like with Ride Four. Um, with MXGP, your controller, if you have played that, the Trials, um, the Trials game, um, becomes a bit of a fluttering mess, to be honest with you. I don't really, I like the way MXGP looks, I like the um, focus of that being on motocross, but I do find where you're in the air a lot, your controller with MXGP becomes a bit of a fluttering, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you know what I mean. Um, you think their triggers are better on Ride 4, yeah. Play the game, Jason. Well, come on, Peter. You know that's not what we do here. We have a chat, and there's no need to use caps, Peter. It's all good. Um, yeah, MotoGP are mostly race-focused factory bikes. Exactly, so they feel more comfortable where we're racing them. Um, guess like F1, you need to get used to them. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, Ride 4 has more bikes and tracks. What's the difference between MotoGP and 20 and 21? Well, that's going to the answer to that is just like what's the difference between F1 2019 and F1 2020? Updated roster, updated names, updated cars. That's what this is, you know. Right, okay. Um, so let's have a look. Um, you have got bits like customization. You can do a lot here, and I think you can do exactly this in ride as well you can change the look of your rider your helmet your sticker so we've got that um we've got there are some add-ons already to buy <laughs> so we can buy the vip multiplier pack now this just allows you to um uh, reputation points and research data so for 3.99 don't buy that ridiculous we've also got um some liveries as well so if you really are a fan uh, i mean really these these should be limited edition liveries should they be included possibly 3.99 up to you um, but it's there um we've got multiplayer multiplayer doesn't seem to have any um any like public lobbies or ranked lobbies um, you've just got people's lobbies coming up um, although saying that that is a lobby MotoGP yeah maybe that is I don't think there's any sort of um, uh, a bit like F1 you know we can go in and do rank races maybe that's coming but we can do private matches and you can do public matches there um, quick modes you've got um, you can do a Grand Prix you can just go to time trial and use any bike obviously here we've got MotoGP free to a MotoGP um, and you can do a new championship as well um, tutorials the tutorials are pretty good in this I've done most of them um, they do teach you how to use the bike and also 
it gives you a choice based on how you did you know would you like the trajectory line on would you like a little bit of help with um, the braking so if you are new it will ease you in gently to a certain extent but just know that this these are hard games or I find them hard anyway I find them very very challenging to keep the lines sweet and to keep the geezer on the bike <laughs> there are public lobbies yeah no there's public lobbies but are there like you know proper ranked servers is what I meant to say sorry no it's not early access is out today um, so yeah options option wise you can change the hard controls um, you have to link your MotoGP profile uh, to continue image configuration there doesn't seem to be any um, performance um, related options you can turn the motion blur off which of course I've done and it says uh, putting it on will allow a greater sense of speed but decreases game performance now um, cyber correct me um, no well, you play it all the time cyber um, correct me if I'm wrong I'm sure ride is 4k 60 isn't it this is 4k but it's not 60 it does drop quite a lot at times um, which you'll see for yourself Okay, so what we're going to do is, I think we'll just go in and we'll do, um, we'll, oh, we'll do a new, we'll do a new career, I think. Yeah, we'll do a new career. I think that's the best way. So, um, step into the shoes of a prof professional rider and begin your journey towards the World Championship. So we can select our debut class by starting straight from MotoGP or climbing your way up from MotoGP 2 or 3. We got a personal manager in this as well, so you're be able to find contracts official teams uh, we can contact a team that you're interested in joining um, take to the track during MotoGP winter tests and help your team uh, team address bike development issues a bit like F1 you know where you research um, uh, so it's got that included as well manage your technical staff so you can keep hiring and rehiring the best people contact the parent company and ask for your support to improve your bike by assessing the development tree system and once you've reached MotoGP you can start you can start to set up a junior team in the lower classes and manage all of its aspects so it's got um, this is the main meat of the game this is where you're going to be playing yeah um, yeah ride 4 is 4k 60 um, it was updated to be 60 on PlayStation 5. Yeah, I don't think this is 60. In fact, I know it's not 60. It drops. Um, I think we'll just go... Maybe there'll be an update for that. Maybe it's not fully optimised, but they are selling it as a PlayStation 5 product. Um, so, yeah. Right, we'll, we'll do MotoGP, I think. Well, what do you think? Um, intermediate class? Hmm. All bikes are powered by Trump. Three cylinder. And the biggest difference is... Uh, okay. Should we, should we start with um, MotoGP 2? Let me know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know that at the moment, Richard. I don't think so. They're selling them as separate products. Um, so, no, I don't think so. Um, and April the 30th is the last date that you can do that on Ride 4. Um, so, yeah. Moto 2 is... Um, yeah, let's try Moto 2. I've never done it, so we'll do that. So, it looks like they're fixed bikes, basically. So, we've got the full calendar or the official calendar... Um, yeah, we'll do this one because they're doing LaSalle twice, so we want to keep it interesting. Um, it includes every Grand Prix and circuit schedule for the 2021. So this is where, um, so again, there's no rush, so if you are watching this, just fast forward it to the racing. But if you're here live, I'm going to take you to, um, through what you actually get as part of your... Um, as part of your campaign so the first step is to uh, your career is to join a team so the time has come to hire a personal manager your personal manager's job is to collect the offers from the teams interested in signing you on and to look for new contracts so that's their job um, the skills summarized with a letter that represents their rank um, so we've got signing on fee a monthly salary and an annual salary uh, resumes, so experience, specialisation and advantage, unique features that distinguishes the staff members. Yeah, three categories of historic bikes. See, um, th the best thing about MotoGP 20 was the historic stuff. I loved it and that's what that's what got me interested in Ride 4. Have you seen the new DD Fanatec coming out? Yeah, I have seen it, but it's only the wheel, isn't it? You've still got to buy pedals and a rim, so it's not going to be, it's not going to be 349 though, is it? But... It does look good. Yeah, definitely. 
<laughs> don't judge the game based on Jason's riding. No, please don't do that. But it's all good. Leave me a little cheeky like. We get on as fast as we can, but I'm not going to rush it. That's not what we're here for. Okay, and personal manager skills, salary negotiations, and contract search. So the better personal manager we can get, the more offers we're going to get, basically. So um, we've got different people here. So they've all got exactly the same salary and signing on fee. They've got different... Right, okay, so it looks like the only difference here is their specialisation. Um, seeking offers to sign on from teams, economic negotiations, specialised in getting good salary offers. Well, let's, let's go with uh, Federico. <laughs> okay, search contracts with factory teams, establishment of new teams. Uh, I think we'll search contract with factory teams. So annual salary, signing on bonus, yep, we've got that. Team expectations, oh, okay, so um, their race goal is for you to be 15th championship goal um, and qualification goal is the fourth row. So they all want that from me. They all want me to be um, top 15 um, compared to the ones to 1K. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, definitely, yeah, I'll get you on that, John. Yeah, I'll get you on that. I think the way I think their advertising is a little bit. They're sort of saying, "Look, get a DD Will for 350." Yeah, but you've got to get everything else. So it will attract a lot of new people in, but they won't understand the pricing. And I go, "What? You still need a wheel and a and a um, set of pedals." But those that have already got Fanatec or interest in Fanatec will know that is a good deal. If you've already got one, though, I suppose would you have that? I don't know. Maybe if you've got the CSL, um, the belt driven, you might think, "Well, I've already got my pedals. I've already got the rim." Yeah, let's swap the base. But yeah, I understand. I understand. Um, okay, so they all want top 10. They all want a decent qualification. We may as well go for the one with most money. So we're going to go with Patronus. Okay, so there's our rider. Oh, yeah. I mean, Milestone do... God, they do do such a good job of presenting the, the bike to you. It, it's amazing. It really is amazing. It's amazing. Look at that. It's just crazy, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, beautiful detail of these magnificent machines. Absolutely wonderful. And that's represented on the track as well. You wait till you see the graphics. It's beautiful. But I can I can just stare at these. I can just stare at them. They're, they're just they're just pieces of art, aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. Um, so we can select our rider. I'm not going to change anything here, but that's all good. Yeah, we can... Um, oh, I do like the riding style. I do like to change that. Um, balance centred. Um, elbows to the ground. Shoulders out. Body out. Old school. I'm old school. That's what I'm having. Does that save that? Yes, it is. Okay, let's do it. Details look good, but can you handle it? Remember, you're not here to judge me. Oh, it is hard, Bazza, but I suppose that's his attraction in a way, isn't it? You tempted to go um, to a DD now? No, not at the moment. No, no, not at all. I can just stare at these. <laughs> yeah, I've had a Triumph. I've had a Triumph Daytona 955. Um, yeah. Love it. it. They are hard, so please don't... Um, so this is my little sign-in on animation. So calendar, I'll just take you through this and then the racing starts. So calendar, using the calendar you can advance to the weeks. Bit like F1, bit like um, bit like all bloody games really. Isn't it? WRC, exactly the same. Sometimes you've got nothing to do, so you, you advance to the next one. Uh, Stand-ins, fight everyone to reach the top of every ranking and win the Riders' Championship, Constructors' Championship and Team Championship. A championship isn't standing like a real word now. Contract management, you can contact other teams, assess and negotiate proposals. Technical staff, that, that gets quite interesting because that's where we've got to do researching. Hello Monday, how are you? If you can handle Ride Forward, then yeah, I don't play it like you, 
Cyber, I know you are an expert, aren't you? I'll just play it and try not to look at chat, but then end up looking at chat. In this section, you can monitor how much research data your technical staff could collect during the development test, and that's what you can you can pay for that extra, which I think is ridiculous. I don't. Uh, uh, would anyone buy three ninety nine? I suppose if you're going to buy the game, three ninety nine on top doesn't seem a lot, but just play the game. Don't buy the extras. Don't buy the extras. Headquarters, release your bike's hidden potential. Your headquarter engineer can produce new research data to spend on developing new expansions for your bike. So as you progress through the career, you can get a more capable bike. Right, okay. Um, set up a junior team. We won't do anything with that, although that does seem pretty interesting if you want to do some more management stuff. Uh, back to customization. So let's go to the calendar. And um, we can just advance to the next week. There's... Uh, there's nothing happening here. Payment of salaries. I always found this a bit weird in WRC9. It's like, well, if there's nothing here, why start me here? Just put me on a race. Right, La Salle. Okay, so let's go there. You had a BMX in the 80s, yeah. Sometimes the diary system seems a bit pointless. It, what, why start it there? Why start it? So we can have free practice. We um, we won't do that. We'll just have... Um, uh, okay, they want us to do two bits of qualifying. Okay, we might come out of that and just go into the race. But um, let's get in there so you can at least see it. Oh, nice, Mondeo. Good and welcome to Qatar. We're joining you live from the Lesse... So I've never raced MotoGP2 development test. So this is exactly like um, F1, you know, where you have to do a certain amount of things. Um, so yeah, you know, race a clean, valid lap. Um, oh no, it looks like, because we didn't do free practice, we're not um, eligible for the ones in grey. The ones we can do is reduce the intervention of uh, by setting a lower value than five. Okay, well, I want to do that anyway. Um, end the weekend without falling <laughs> in at least three sessions. <laughs> this bit here is what all of these games do such a good job at is really putting you in the motorsport or the sport that you're interested in here it's it's bikes and it, it look they're putting you in the garage and it does it's fantastic what they do it really is if you like bikes and like MotoGP in in particular you're just gonna adore this look at it look Now I must just I must just point out one thing that I just absolutely adore with this before we move on. Um let's just get out of here. Yeah, great atmosphere as well. Let me show you one thing I think that has progressed in this particular game over Ride 4. Now, um MXGP, you remember when we have done the um when you're going along the straight, you see the, the, the clothing flap about. Look at the levers here, look at the creases in those levers fucking hell look at that it's it blew my mind actually how it's just a small detail look so he's arched so the levers being stretched across his back we stop he sits back up look at that i mean that is wow you know if if you're if you're a fan of small details in in games that make up bigger details that's unbelievable that really is absolutely fantastic and the lighting is great. I mean, don't forget, this is the Unreal Engine. Really, really good. I mean, look, I could just do that for hours. Look, so he, he leans down and it stretches out. That's fair enough. Unbelievable. Whoever designs the clothes at Milestone or the representation of the, the clothes, well done. Well done. Yeah, love details like that, yeah. Yeah, dust goes on your lever. Yeah, I've I've experienced that. So I've fallen off quite a lot. Okay, so we'll um, we've only got 12 minutes. So let's see what these bikes are actually like. So I'm playing with um, split brake. So um, if you look down the bottom right, um, next to where it says front, to the left of front, you get a meter. Uh, oh, hang on, that's mixed brakes, isn't it? Uh, is it? Oh, I've got a little bit of. Um, Actually, I've got a little bit of assistance, so when I press the front brake, it does do the back brake a little bit. What the f... 
Now I'm going to show you the other cool part of this game, which I think is so good. And that's the fact that you have to run back to your bike. I think this is fantastic. The crash animations in bikes, they're, they're never good, are they? How are you going to replicate a crash on a motorbike? But here you have to actually run after your bike. Look at him, look. How cool is that? And then you have to go and get it. This animation is always good. This means that the bike's fucked, basically. Yeah, it's no good. But you can run to your bike and get back on it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think that's great. We're going to do a flying start now. So I'm just trying to show you as much as I can about the game. Don't judge my racing. That's not what we're here for. You're here to judge. Look at the game. Yeah, it is a new one. It's really, really good. I think it's fantastic. So in the heat of the race, um, you know, you've um, you've got to get back to your back to your bike. So we'll do a little bit of MotoGP too, and then we'll go to the proper MotoGP. I'm just going to leave these brake markers on. There's no point turning everything off. I'm always one to go, nah, turn it all off. But if I'm going to learn the game, then we can leave them on for one session, can't we? <laughs> that would be mayhem in multiplayer. I don't know if it works in multiplayer, actually. That would be brilliant. <laughs> that would be good to get some kind of dance going. Crazy, isn't it, Baz? Yeah. But please turn it up. Is it is it too quiet? Does everyone want it up? Right, can you see the um, frames just struggling a little bit at times? It's not as smooth as Ride 4, it really isn't. I mean, the graphics are beautiful, there's no doubt about that. The, everything is um, represented beautifully, but it does struggle with frames. Do you think that as well, Cyber? Well, that depends on what um, PC you've got, Mustang. Line dancing, yeah. There isn't one, sir. There isn't, um, yeah, there isn't one. There isn't an option for performance, it's just the PlayStation 5 version. Feel free to use my link, Baz. It all helps. Yeah, also, yeah, good point, Steve. Um, you've got the long lap system in here. Now, I don't mo know much about MotoGP. I don't really watch it. Um, but they've got a long lap system in, so if you if you incur a penalty that's um, severe enough, you'll be told to do a long lap, which is basically just like a an extra bit of track that's really going to slow you down and fuck you up. Uh, that's introduced into the game as well. So if you get a long lap penalty, it will sh the, it's not actually showing up on the oh you can't see the mini map anyway because it's behind me, but it will show you in yellow a little detour that you have to do, um, exactly the same as um, real life. I would love. Um, a bike rig, yeah, I'd love it. Um, Cyber, can you um, can you run as far away? All right, we'll try it. Whoa! Oh, that looked quite severe. I don't know whether. Um... <laughs> wow. Okay, he's shaken, not stirred. Let's go and have a run up into the pits. Yeah, Cyber, I don't know if you could confirm. Is there a tuck behind button like there is on um, Ride 4? I can't seem to find one. And I, I put his weight forward um, when I'm going along the straight. It seems to slow it down, which is a little bit weird. Can you get a bike rig? Yes, you can, Mark. Yeah, there's some really interesting bike rigs out there. Yeah. He needs a piss. It's fine. <laughs> the sounds a little bit weird when he's running. I'm wondering if they're trying to um, portray what it, what running actually sounds like with a helmet on, because it is a little bit weird. Look at him; they're all looking. Look, they're like, "Yeah." <laughs> see for some bloke, yeah. <laughs> I just want to go in the pit, see where we can go. Oh, that's as that's as far as we can go. Oh, what? It's fine. I think it's left click, joystick down. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Why are you running? <laughs> yeah, you can SS. Oh, something's gone wrong. Oh, brilliant. Yes, you can SS to quite an extent as well. 
It's in PlayStation 5 settings, save data and game app. Um, okay, well, let's have a look at that then. Yeah. It's in the PlayStation 5 save data. Where Whereabouts? Whereabouts? Um, manage game content? No. Where are, you, where are you getting this information? Yeah, I'm always up for checking things, yeah. It's in the PlayStation 5 settings, save data and game app. Uh, do you mean, is, is that a global setting? Because I'm quite happy with the settings. I'm, I'm talking about in-game. Yeah, I'm talking about in-game. Yeah, definitely Para, and obviously this is still available on PlayStation 4 and Switch as well, interestingly enough. That's the great thing about the Unreal Engine, um, but at the same time, they, they are really personalising it. Like I say, that, that lever effect and the lighting is really good. Yeah, there's no option in game. Yeah, I'm not going to change it in there because I'm happy with the way the PlayStation 5 set up. Have a race on foot. <laughs> So true, Gray. So true. Right. We've experienced MotoGP 2 very briefly. Should we get on with MotoGP? Because that's what we're here for, isn't it? That is um, that is ultimately what we're here for. So I think we will just start with that. They felt good. And actually, um, they do actually feel like, Mo uh, like Ride 4. Let's go MotoGP. Why do trees and crowds uh, look like cardboard cutouts? Well, they are mine, don't they? You know, we've got to wait for PlayStation... 10 for them to look real <laughs> I bet it is madman yeah get on with it Peter come on that's not what we do here yeah that's not what we do here come on you know that you know that by now we are getting on with it that's exactly what we're doing right we went to um, we got two Ducatis or an Aprilla I think I'm going to go Prilla, actually. Yeah, I will show you all the views. Yeah, I will show you the views. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's... Oh, that's an interesting front spoiler. Looks like a bloody hammerhead shark. I've never even seen that. Oh, God, again. Look at the detail. Look. And the lighting is beautiful. Yeah, I think a lot of that um, it is the Unreal Engine, yeah. Can you show us the other riding views if you stay on? <laughs> okay, this is our little signing up animation. All of it's done really well. I mean, you do feel like you're, you're there, you know? I love how the way they've got a model people holding up phones. That's human behaviour now, isn't it? It's not a party unless you're... Holding up a phone. Let's pointlessly advance through these weeks. Okay, so we've got Malaysia winter test. Yeah, we'll do that. Winglets. Okay. Yeah, they're they're only really still a sort of indie developer, really. But milestone, yeah, fantastic. So fastest lap. We've got a package. Okay. I like a pit start. Oh god, that does look nice, doesn't it? Right, we're gonna stay on and chill out, alright? I'll show you the different views as well. A lot of trackside detail. I mean, you've got them lovely BMWs up there, helicopters, no crowds because we're winter testing. See, look, the second I look away, I'm not going to look at chat, I'm just going to do some racing. Let me do it. I'll do a lap of each um, view if I can. So, like I said at the start, at the very start, these almost feel 
a little bit easier to handle than the bigger bikes on ride and I think that's purely because they're track they're track bikes you know they're not road bikes these are set up as tracks so they're a lot more seated on the track um, than I find on on ride 4 a lot a lot more a lot happier on the track so they don't, they don't wiggle and snatch as much it still it doesn't mean that it's any less harder to, uh, you know easier to control <laughs> but they just feel they feel happier now I'm presuming that's um, deliberate yeah the shadows are good right let's do some different views so we've got the chase view but further away so this is probably the easiest view to use for especially mid-race knowing exactly what's going on behind you because the camera and view is just back a little bit made from carbon fiber yeah yeah definitely yeah oh shit <laughs> right let me show you the rewind feature never look away when you're doing god knows what speed so first on board view now this on board view is more about the bike you you are the bike on this on this particular view and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second because there's an option to sort of be the rider this is your option for for being the bike so the bike pivots on on one spot and you control it around the track it's a lovely view love it and these helmet views they are the most realistic way to play the game I mean it's just it's just amazing what they've actually represented here or recreated because it's got to be the hardest thing you can't really call this game a, kit, a sim can you because how can you simulate riding a MotoGP bike you can't can you but they've, they've done a good job whoa I wonder what the walking back to your bike is like in first person or does it go third person goes third And now look at his levers, they're dusty. I mean, there's some real, real nice detail here. This animation is, is brilliant as well. He tries to lift a bike up. I mean, that's done. Wow, that's that's really moving it on. That's really moving the genre on. Because normally you just crash against the wall, goes uh, ghost, and then you get back on. Yeah, see you later, SS. And now look at the bike as well. The bike's got um, a few scratches and... And bits and bobs so that's uh, that's really good he did look a little dazed there right the next view is um, is the rider view so you're you're the rider now so oh for fuck's sake sorry right we will get there in a second don't worry oh god he's back look he's fucked look look at him look he's like come on help me it's fine I want to show you this animation not a problem Please don't judge my racing, that's not what we're here for. So this view, we're not the bike, we're the rider now. So the bike slips over to the, the left, but we're we're steering from the helmet, that's what we're doing. So we're steering from the helmet, and it's pretty good, I like it. I mean, look at that, my god, you know. He might have done that, man, yeah. I don't actually know this track very well. It's sponsored by JD, yeah. I mean, look at that for a view, Lola. Whoa! Fantastic. Oh, shit. Rewind. Let me show you the rewind feature. Look at the bike, it's getting ruined. See, this is what frustrates me because I'm not very good at it and I'm coming off on every corner. But that's one thing that does stop me playing this. But I suppose... Um, oh, for... F right, let's end the winter session.
Yeah, let's finish Tess. We're not going to be there for two hours, are we? <coughs> Look at him, he's fallen over again. <laughs> he's like... Brilliant. Are you sure you want to select pack one? Uh, let's have a look. So that uh, went to test. I finished. Choose your preferred frame. Well, we'll have that one. That's the only one we can have by the looks of it. <laughs> you call this racing? You're falling off in style. I will. I, don't worry. I'll concentrate. I'll just have to shut up and get on with it. Okay, we're at Los Al. Let's go. Maybe they should add stabilizers. You cheeky git. Absolute cheeky git. MotoGP 18 helmet view has better animations. Oh, I don't know, Yola. Yeah. And there also is one more, um, one more view as well, which I'm going to show you, which is exactly the same as the previous one, but inside the helmet. So the sounds muffled. Um, you've got a visor, and it is very immersive. There's no doubt about that. So that's that one. So you're inside the helmet now. You can see the. Um, sort of helmet as we go. He moves around, uh, moves a l around a lot more in this particular view. It is a crash test, yeah. Don't you worry about that. Don't worry about me. You just get on with watching the game. Yeah, this, this, this cam is very, very good. But it's quite a restricting view. I mean, Cyber, what, what view do you play? I think to be competitive, you've got to play outside view. Look at that, though. Look at that. Oh, also, um, hang on. Let me just show you something else as well, which is cool. Let's wait till we get someone around us. We'll do it there, maybe. Um, photo mode is pretty cool. Yeah, photo mode is cool. I do actually like photo mode. I mean, look at this. That you can just stop it at any time, and the graphics are just beautiful. They really are. And you've obviously got, um, you know, we can change the aperture, uh, focus distance. We we can just change everything really. Exposure. Put some effects on there. We can have um, different filters. That looks good. Black and white, bright. I mean, that looks nice as well. Red hues, sepia, vintage. So you can have a nice little play and get some really, really good shots as well. Graphics are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Right, let me do some racing then. I'll probably stick to third-person cam, but let's see whether we can put some... Um, some stuff in here. Yeah, I would actually use photo mode, probably for thumbnails, but uh Yeah, Stimson will be sold. I, <coughs> I think he liked Ride 4 anyway, doesn't he? Hello Maxi, how are you son? Yeah, see you later Bill, drive careful mate. Sorry mate. <laughs> As a crash, watch out. <laughs> Show us the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in a career though, aren't we? It will rain in a second anyway. Okay, Yola. Here we go. Well, let's wait for a straight. How are you, Max? Hello, Matt Golden. I just know, as immersive as it is, I'm not going to be competitive um, in that particular view. I just know it. I've got to be too careful, you know? The wheelies are great. I love the way he tips his head to one side to counterbalance. Love it. I think this will be the view, ultimately. Right, let's put in some, uh, some times then. <laughs> Maybe we should start watching it, Max. We might enjoy it just as much as we do F1. 
you never know. Is it not out on Steam yet? Steam's usually about 6 o'clock. Yeah, so if it isn't out now, I'm sure it will be soon. So I'm going to shut up a bit and try and try and progress. You're not here to listen to me, are you? You're here to see what the game's like. Stand up wheelies? No, no. Why would it? You want MXGP20? <laughs> Yeah, if you want to use my link in the description, you can get it from CD Keys, it's cheaper, and um, they do give me a little kickback. Most importantly, it's cheaper for you, though. Yeah, the wheel looks good, but don't forget, obviously we need pedals, we need... Um, need a rim and if you want to get the full power out of it you have to buy another um, power pack seems a bit weird um, yeah it's great so we're getting there now what do you think of the graphics by the way it does look very very pretty doesn't it The flashing yellow and red. Um, oh, I'm not sure. It's not very vibrating, admittedly. My, my, my controller is vibrating, but uh, we got a haptic f um, feedback on the um, PlayStation 5. Although it's not huge, it's not really. It's not making me think. Oh wow! It just does. It's just very subtle. The right, the right uh, controller for your accelerator. It, it does go loose when you start to lose the bike and you can catch it just in time apparently that rim looks awesome I've had information actually about that um, August is the next drop um, and it's only F1 that actually supports it natively isn't it F1 2020 but yeah I, I can't wait as well you did well to get that. There's only a thousand units in um, in Europe. So I'm going to concentrate on racing now and try and make some progress. You, are you all good with that? See, we're getting there now. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't support... It's not much interest to me, I will just say, but... I mean, if they want to send me one, I'll have it, but they'll have to send me the rest to put with it. I don't think it's as cheap as the advertising is sort of... Um, you know, a lot of people, Thrustmaster people and just general simmers will be looking from the outside in and going, What? A Fanatec for... Or Fanatec for 300 nod. Oh my god, but then, yeah, once you add all the other bits, then obviously it's still not a cheap will, is it? It's just a cheap Fanatec will. Uh, which is great if you've been after a fanatic. I mean, how much will pedals and, and a wheel be, Matt? And keep crashing? No, I want to try and put in some time. I'm feeling quite comfortable on this bike, actually. This should be alright. No, I don't think MotoGP looks better, no. I mean, let me just show you. Look at these levers. I can't stop looking at the levers. Look at the representation of the levers. Look, so when he sits up, obviously look at the creases um, on the rear of his levers. And then when he leans forward and stretches them out over his back. Look at that, look. 
No, no, this is better graphically than uh, uh, 20. Yeah. 100%. Just watch one of the streams back from MotoGP 20. Oh, bloody hell, look. I look at chat and all of a sudden, you know? So you got to add another 400 quid to it. Wow. You know, so you're still talking like a seven, 800 quid um, setup, aren't you? So, yeah, they're advertising. I'll, I would give them points for their advertising, absolutely, and in making it modular, but you still need the other bits, don't you? I suppose if you're on PC, you could just use what pedals you've got, but you're going to need that rim, aren't you? Right, let me get back to concentrating, because we was doing all right there. I'm just going to have to be unsociable, I think, if we play bike games. I would love to play more bike games on the channel, but all of a sudden I'm looking over at the chat, um, you know? And then I'm crashing. And you can't do that. Oh shit, I've run out of petrol. <laughs> <coughs> it's fine. We'll, um, yeah. What's the bike handling like? Yeah, it feels, it feels light ride for, if you play that for a comparison. But like I said earlier, the track's, um... The bikes feel happier on the tracks, maybe because they're meant to feel like that, you know? Because it's a it's a track tuned bike, isn't it? Yeah, I got you, Matt. Yeah, I got you. No, they don't, Matt, man. But it's fine. I mean, I, I enjoy them. I really enjoy them. <laughs> a good a bondage game with look. We are making real progress now, though, aren't we? With our, with, with, you know, small details like that, and eventually they put all them details in. The track still looks like a sort of, to me anyway, like a pl good PlayStation 4 Pro track game. You know, um, I don't think the track. I mean, maybe I'm being unfair. There's still a lot of detail at the side of the track, but um, it, it's not blowing me away as much as. The detail about the bike. A bit like Train Sim, we spoke about it yesterday. The train is represented perfectly. They don't worry so much about the external detail because you're here for the train. Same with these. Look at these pit girls. They're lovely. <laughs> okay, so, oh, we're actually in the race. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. So it looks like we've got softs on the front, medium on the rear. Okay, let's have, let's have a race. I mean, all this as well, you know, this is all exciting, isn't it? I love the starts of bike games. There are none, uh, Khalib, there are none. So we're starting at the back, not a problem. It's only eight laps, so... I'm going to ignore you for eight laps, all right? So down on the bottom right, you can control your power as well, just like you can in F1. Um, you've got your mix, basically. So over on the right, your power, and it tells you how much overfuel you've got based on what your current mix is. So at the moment, we're all right on full power because we've still got plenty of fuel. See you later, Maxi boy. Oh shit, right, concentrate, concentrate, come on. Whoa, he's off, nice. So you can see, at the moment, we haven't got enough fuel to finish the race, so I'll put the power down to two. So you've got this little bits of sort of management, oh shit, to do in the, oh, Let's give it a bit of rewind. It's an exciting game, though. It does it does get you when you start getting in in with the pack? Um, it is it is an exciting sort of rewarding game. You keep falling off and stuck at the back. It can be frustrating as fuck. But you get a little bit of skill or start moving up the skill ladder a little bit. And you think right, I'm I'm ready to take this geezer on, and it does become very rewarding. Yeah, you're right, Shaky, but it's, it's all fine. Mm. 
No, it's the other way around, Adam. <laughs> so we've got overfuel at the moment. So if need be, see, I'm going. I'm I'm overstretching each corner. Let me let me get in there. We need a bit of time practicing, but that's what we're here for. We're not going anywhere today. We're here for a couple of hours. We're not last. <laughs> right, a bit of power free, I think. <laughs> Matt, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, these these bike games they don't suit the way that I like to stream. I like to be able to read every bit of chat, get in with the banter, and these this takes pure concentration. It really does. You need to watch. You need to stare at the bike. You need to watch the lines you're doing. You need to wait for the breaking point. I'm staring at the track, staring at the apex. You look away, and all of a sudden, that's that's gone. No, I wouldn't call it boring. Why, why do you think it's boring, though? Is it because you don't, because you only play for an hour, like I do? Your skill level isn't moving up, and therefore you're not being competitive. Is that what's making it boring? I don't think they're boring. In, in fact, I think they're far from boring. They're just really challenging, and they do t they do require you to spend more than an hour. Yeah, they do require you to spend a bit of time on them. Yeah, they are, Adam, but it's fine. I'll use the tyres from practice. It's fine. We will finish this race. Lovely track, though. We'll stick to this view. We won't fuck about with, um, with views. Right, back down on the power. Well, it's a bit like Nash. It's a bit like um, how does Formula One compare with 2019? You know, there's graphical improvements, there's handling improvements, there's game features that have been added, but most importantly, you've got the um, the right drivers, the right tracks. It's just more of the same, but improved, just like F1 2020 is. These annual games, they're never gonna, you know, progress too quick, are they? They're always going to be uh, more of the same because that's their that's the nature of them. They come out every year, and they're incremental improvements, aren't they? Yeah, exactly, Adam. And they'll garner hardcore fans that follow them, just like the F1 franchise. You'll buy it regardless because it's got all the latest stuff in it. Is it worth it? Well, that's for you to make your mind up. It's a forty-seven pound game, I think, on Amazon. Forty. Five forty-nine pound on, on the store. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of money. It's a fifty quid game. You know, yeah, it's a fifty quid game. And if you don't play bike games, you're probably going to be playing it exactly like I am now, a little bit over the place, falling off, getting frustrated, but learning it and um, enjoying it. Well, if you brought it, how have you? Why ask me if it's worth it or not? <laughs> oh, definitely, Rob, yeah. You can always look around, can't you? Yeah, and if you, if you or you, you've got a bunch of friends that um, play a game like this every year, you're going to buy the latest version, aren't you? Yeah, I like that, Steve. It's better than... I wouldn't have the um, the racing line on. I would never have the racing line on. It looks ridiculous. But I don't mind these little corner markers. They are they are quite a good reminder. Yeah, I mean, 40 quid is... Uh, you've got to like bikes. It's a prerequisite, isn't it? You have to like bikes to enjoy this game. You have to. And if you like bikes, you're going to enjoy this game. It's like six of, six of one, half a dozen of the other. 
I don't think anyone would buy this blind, would they? As in, oh, I, oh, I like my platform games, Crash Bandicoot, and oh, I think I'll try Moto GP 21. It doesn't work like that, does it? You'll buy this game because you know what it entails, you know what interest you've got. Um, I don't particularly got an interest in Moto GP, but I love fucking love bikes, so it doesn't have to be specifically on Moto GP. Oh, racing lines are stupid, yeah. But I don't mind this. I don't mind the. These are no different, really, to, um, you know, uh, markers, 100, 100 meter markers, are they? Yeah, if you get it on PC, it's well cheap on PC. Literally half price, wow. It's crazy, isn't it? My tyres are a bit fucked, and I am in 21st, but we've committed now, so. Let's go up to power three. Don't expect to be winning races straight away. I don't even know what... Um, oh, I might have it on advanced as well, actually. Yeah, I think they might be on advanced, which I'm certainly not. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, GP20 is now £10 on the store. £10, you know? That's the other thing you get. They, they stay... They, they hold their value until the next version's out, then they drop out the sky 10 quid for the last the, the last version good value yeah very good value let's see if we can at least keep up with this geezer we haven't been off yet so our levers are still lovely and shiny too wide yeah, of course I am artful. Yeah, I love the ranch. We love all games here. Yeah? Jack of all trades, no good at any of them. Oh god, I'm trying to reach out. Look at this. Yeah, I got you, Wayne. I've only just got uh, into F1 though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with F1. I'm an old school geezer, I would give anything to just go back in time and watch Barry Sheen and Kenny Roberts and all that, they're, they're, they're my people. Yeah, MotoGP is great, but I like the retro stuff, or what is now known as the retro stuff. Is the red marker set? No, the red marker is a brake and blue is accelerate. So blue is for power and red is you need to, you need to brake here. Yeah, they don't change colour like um, the racing line does. They're just markers. Whereas the racing, the racing line, that will your object with the racing line. It's like a mini game, isn't it? It's to try and keep it blue. These don't change. They're just that's why I like them. Actually, they're not telling me what to do. They're just reminding me what to do. I'm not one for markers or anything like that. But especially when I'm reading chat. So. Firstly, I apologise for not being up the front. Can't help that. Needs practice. So know that when you're buying it as well. I'm sort of playing it from... Um, oh. A real sort of aspect, you know. If you're not an expert at bike games, this is probably how you're going to be racing. Going wide, being at the back. But with a bit of practice, you, you'll soon be up there. Lovely game though, but no complaints for the game. Graphically, it's beautiful, um, especially the bike and rider. I mean, look at those levers moving. Oh yeah, you can almost smell them, can't you? <laughs> and the bike is just magically fucking represented. It's beautiful. Track is lovely. It's all really good. I can't think of anything bad to say about it really, apart from the fact it's fifty pound. So just know that if you are going to buy this, know what you're getting into. It is difficult, and it's meant to be. Riding a bike is not easy, you know, it's not easy, and um, it feels like that in the game. I think if you want a more varied option of bikes, you go to Ride 4, which is very similar graphically, very similar hand in, handling, um, but you haven't got the focus of that MotoGP Championship, and I think that's what, if you, if you want to focus, then... Um, that's where this game will come in. I think if you want a, a focused championship, a bit like, as we said at the start, a bit like ACC, 
is focused. Okay, they do GT4 cars now, but it's ultimately a GT3 simulator, isn't it? Whereas Gran Turismo, you can drive a, a Fiat 500 or you can go in an F1 car. And that's what Ride 4 is a little bit like. You can drive slow bikes, old bikes, new bikes, track bikes, endurance bikes. You don't get that with this. You get what ACC is. You get a selection of MotoGP bikes, official bikes. Okay, you've got the historics, which I will show you actually, because I love the historic bikes. Um, but yeah, you're getting a much more uh, <laughs> you're getting a much more focused title with this one. And I quite like it. I like it for that. You don't have to think. Well, what should we race today? Should we race the FZR? Should we? Uh, do you want to do endurance racing? Oh God. Should we? Um, should we go for class? No. MotoGP. So if you if you get a little bit lost in larger sort of more choice driven games then something more focused like this might be for you yeah it might be oh god yeah 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 definitely madman yeah these do feel very stable so on one hand you might think well what am i meant to be replicating these bloody you know ultimately beastly powerful bikes but it's not even twitching yeah that's because the handling and the brakes and everything is set up for that bike isn't it so rather than keep wobbling and make you think oh i can't keep hold of this no, I think they're assuming that you're some kind of, you know, you're a, you're a, you're a MotoGP rider, so you know how to handle the bike. The bike um, ultimately is controlled by you, of course, but I think they're going for a bit more sturdy on track, which will be handy and perfect when you do make your way up the front and you're racing for top five or more. You know, you haven't got to worry about it always twitching out. Um, crash to see the new animation yeah we well you know i'm not meant to be crashing am i but yes i will show you that maybe not right now yeah i don't think they're hard to drive i think they're quite easy to drive but hard to master but i'm already getting better around this track and you know i don't mean i'm going to be winning but i am you can see you know my lines are getting better my braking points are getting better and that's just within one one race so I certainly wouldn't be put off by the fact that I'm driving like a cock. Just know that if you are new to bike games, this is how you'll be driving as well, because it's hard. It is hard. Hello, Glenn. How are you? I think you have new to this race, Moto3. Yeah, Moto3, uh, MotoGP3, like Cyber says, they f makes you feel like you're in Ride 4. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, last lap. We're not last. Uh, that's progress. Look at the textures of that rear um, slick. Fucking hell. I mean, it's happening before our very eyes, isn't it? Games are now starting to really, really progress with the minute detail. They still haven't got um, they still haven't got humans right, have they? The skin, the eyes, the um, the moist lips or the nose. They haven't got that right. But what computers do very well is replicating hard metal, soft materials. Look at that bike, look. It just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And like I say, it's happening before our very eyes. We got when did we ever think we'd get like leather pinching and moving as the riders moving it's amazing absolutely amazing yeah i've got you nash i've only got a little bit of assist on the front i think i'm going to check the um difficulty I, I'm, I'm going to have to go down to easy to start with to get and it, it's not a chicken way of playing it if you go down to easy at least you can have battles up the front can't you and, and then it's like we say in gran turismo don't practice jump in and try it with people Fifty pound on the store. So if you're concerned with that, there are places to get it cheaper, um, physical editions. But yeah, if you buy it off the store, it'd be forty nine ninety nine. So like I say, you can see that. Well, not that one. <laughs> you can see I'm starting to tidy up some of the corners, even though I don't particularly know this track. It doesn't take long. I do love leather actually, yeah, I do love leather. 
jackets. I mean, I've got no other item of clothing that's leather. Just jackets. I like a leather jacket. <laughs> He's not happy, is he? He's not happy. So we didn't get our race goal of 15. That's not a problem. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've shown it, but I can show it again, yuppie. It's not a problem. So we didn't get any of our um, objectives. Not a problem. That's how you're going to start to start with, isn't it? We've got a reputation um, loss, but our contract is secure. I'm just going to get a drink out of the fridge. Two seconds. Fuck's sake, I can't get it. Right. Right. Okay. Let's um, let's let's get on. Let's get on. What what we got next? Right, progress. Uh, we're going to go to Argentina. Another track I don't think I know, but it's all good. Uh, we won't do the free practice. We'll just go straight in with the qualifying. <laughs> He's rooting around in the bins. Hello, Scarab, how are you? We are joining you live from Argentina. Everything is ready here for the first qualifying session. Now, this session... Okay, um... Oh, let me just check whether that's someone at the door. Two seconds, my dog's barking. Yeah, fingers. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, right, let me do race options. Uh, where is the? Um Where's the skill level for this one? Let me. Because um there's no point if it's on advanced. It's just there's just no point. No point at all. I mean, all this, just the way it does this, is brilliant, isn't it? BMW's over there. Still no finger picks. <laughs> I was going to send you some last night, but I thought, no, I can't just do that unsolicited. It's not too bad, actually. Now. Right, let's show you some of these other views then while we're here. So this is the bike um, pivoting on... Basically in the middle of the screen, isn't it? It's just a pivot. Uh, no, Art 4, I didn't ask for it, yeah. I do need to change it, yeah. Can you change it from... Where can we change that? Because, yeah, they're... they're uh... Maybe it's at the start of the race. Maybe. You can choose the length. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I'm just doing seven or eight laps. But, yeah, you can choose them. Look at that, though. That's brilliant, isn't it? And then you go to the rider view. 
So the bike isn't pivoting as such. The the the, the rider is leaning. It doesn't. It it does gnash. It does not to a huge amount though. You're not going to really notice it. What you will notice is that when the bike starts to slip out, the trigger goes completely loose, and you think, "Whoa!" You know, it does give you feedback. Does it go hard? I mean, it is. It's firm. It's nothing that's going to blow your mind. It's not like playing Astro Bot, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, this is the best view, isn't it? There's just no doubt that this is the most advanced simulated view. Look at it. It really does its best to put you in the fucking... on the, on the bike, doesn't it? Look, look, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But this is my view. Yeah, this is my view. Right, let me put in a couple of qualifying laps. You never know, we might get up there. It's a crazy view, PJ, yeah. Yeah, definitely hits, although I'll miss out on that purely because of um, using a wheel. <laughs> You'd think um, Pug hasn't done a, um, a uh, cut-down version for a while, has he? It is Madman, yes, yeah, it's, it's lovely, but it, it, is it competitive enough, you know? You do see a little bit more of what's happening around the track in this view, don't you, certainly? Like, I suppose it's like the F1, isn't it? You know, you do the on-top um, view, you get a much better chance of knowing what's going on. Yeah, definitely, Aiden. Yes, yeah. And like F1, you only get a certain amount of tyres for the weekend or the Grand Prix, so you have to choose your your tyres correctly. Oh, that's cool, Nick. Much different, or? But yeah, all them mods will have to be redone, wouldn't they? Yeah, I do keep, I do keep, um, I, I do keep dipping in. Uh, Snowy, did you see F1 has come to race room? In in what, in what sort of format? Because they had the Formula One cars anyway, didn't they? What do you mean, Scarab? Trouble is, I've just started Fallout. I want to start Days Gone. I can't take on too much because you know it will just burst and things will get dropped. They had their own version, yeah, I can't remember what it was called. It's on the tip of my tongue what they used to call them. Uh, what's, but there's official ones in there now, is this Garand? This, this track actually feels a little bit easier. Well, I can't keep all the fucking games, can I, Madman? Jesus. Imagine it. Oh, I'd still be playing... Um, oh, God. What would I still be playing? Elite. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a really early game. Yeah, I like I oh I like Fallout. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep playing that. Yeah, I like it a lot actually. I've been wanting to play it again. I just haven't found the time. Got me father-in-law um, moved in with us now. Just while his um, his missus is in hospital, he's just as I went out to get a drink, 
He said they've just had an update. They've cancelled all visiting. No one's allowed to visit because they've got a case of COVID on the board. So uh, no one can go and see her at all. <coughs> As it was, it was only one dedicated person from each family. He couldn't um, just bowl in, you know. But he's coming to stay with us while, uh, while she's in hospital. I've just plonked him in front of the snooker. He's at me. Oh, I've run out of fuel again. Oh, we got a second there as well. That was interesting. Uh, can we, uh, if we end the session, um, will it keep that time? That brings to an end the first qualifying session, and the riders oh, in nice. the top yeah, it does. positions will be racing for mm. in qualifying two. You like video games? Well, you're in the right place, mate. <coughs> Thank you, Power. Welcome back to the start of the second. It's horrible, though, isn't it? If a, if a ward gets a case of COVID, they've just got to lock down, haven't they, to look after the bloody old people in there. It's a stroke ward. It ain't good, is it? <laughs> the old UK elite days. You took ages to get that game. I do remember that. Um, I do remember that. Um, you've been watching Snooker? Not really, not really. I got into Snooker when the game come back out. Uh, or got back into Snooker when the game come out, but it just didn't last long. I can't see where to change it. I can't see where. Maybe at the, at the start of the next one. So this is qualifying two, actually, isn't it? Am I right in thinking that? I've got no interest in farming sim now, yeah, that won't be coming. I think I prefer ranch sim to um, farming simulator. I know a lot of people will burn me for that. I like the small scale of it. I don't want to do everything large scale. I want to do everything small scale. And I think that's where ranch sim has got potential for me. But yeah, in terms of farming, we've done it a few times on the channel. We had a, an amazing... Um, uh, farm set up by Slim, but um, yeah, just never grabbed it fully. Yeah, definitely, Stephanie. And did you play it much, um, Snowy? I thought more at home on this track. I don't know whether you're noticing. There's a there's a few more chances to think on this track. Well, they had animals, didn't they? They had cows and piggies and all that. Could have a dog. I just think I like the small scale of something like, not necessarily Ranch Sim, but something like Ranch Sim. Rather than the large scale of, you know, field after field. Yeah, oh god. Oh, did she, Baz? Is she alright now? I'm looking at chat again. What do you think of what you're seeing, anyway? Don't forget that I'm not asking you to rate my racing, but what do you think of the game and what you're seeing? Yeah, it's got first person. Oh, that's good, Bazaar. That's that's lovely to hear. I bet that was fucking worrying times, wasn't it? And we got crashing as well. <laughs> Definitely pug, yeah. Right, this is a new feature as well. You don't just get um, spawned on. So in a, in the heat of a race, you've got to run back to your bike. And as long as it isn't, com it doesn't always work. Sometimes, yeah, that's going to work. If it does that animation, the dry the rider lifts the bike up and it's fine. Sometimes he just looks at it and goes like that, you know. Oh, that's good, Steve. And if enough of you got it, we will at least have one multiplayer night on here. I promise you that. 
Honestly, the graphics are a bit of a letdown. Do you think, David? I think the problem with that is is um, something I've always thought, right? And that's why I've always liked fantasy made-up tracks. Um, race tracks are fairly boring, aren't they? Look, it's, they're, they're, all, they're usually quite flat. There's not much going on. If um, Maybe if you want graphics, you, you go to the Riviera um, track along the coast in Ride 4. That, that's when you get a bit of... Um, almost like a bit of um, feel like you're traveling or going somewhere tracks ultimately they're tarmac and grass isn't it you know and I do find that with with tracks they're not the most interesting things to race around <laughs> I'd much rather do street racing any day of the week but they're the best places to race aren't they You know, tracks are full of runoff areas, grass, um, barriers. You know, it's uh, yeah, street lake. Yeah, now that Isle of Man, that looks fantastic. You know, because you're racing past people's houses, sense of speed. I don't know if you agree with that. Tracks are, they're, you know, race tracks are fairly boring places in terms of representing graphically. Flat trees, yeah. You know, you want to go to Silverstone, or the remake, possibly, of Trial Mountain on GT7. What's going to look better? It's going to be Trial Mountain, isn't it? Of course it is. Racetracks never change. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, is the bike going to be fucked? And can we, <laughs> can we go running around anywhere? Quite a nice little feature though, isn't it? And, and again, look at the levers, look. Ruined, all scratched up, all dusty, fantastic. This just looks like the bike is floating. That's You're probably always going to get that from this view. Yeah, and don't think I'm here to defend it, because I'm absolutely not. Does it look like it's floating? I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I suppose it's going to be hard to really plonk it on the tarmac, isn't it? It looks alright to me. Yeah, definitely. It, it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't, doesn't look horrible. I'm not here to defend the game. That's not my job. I'm not part of the game. I'm just showing it off as a YouTube channel. Yeah, I like the running around feature, yeah. Because <clears throat> that's one of the worst things, isn't it? You, you know, like the Isle of Man game, for example. You're racing through the streets. You hit a... Um, you hit something and it just flashes and puts you back on and away you go again. But look at this for a feeling of speed. It's it's unsurpassed really, isn't it? It's too fast. <laughs> right, let's end this session and go to a race and then I think what we'll do is I'll show you some of the classic MotoGP bikes. The 500cc um, two-strokes. In tomorrow's Grand Prix. <laughs> Definitely snowy. Hello and welcome no, of course not, Bulldog, and that, that's part of the challenge, isn't it? How can you... Um, you can't portray a racing game, can you? Uh, race options... Sky high! Uh, riding aids... I don't want joint brakes, actually. Let's get them off. Assisted front brake. No, no, we don't want that. No, just put that on moderate. And yeah, I've got auto auto gears to, just to start with. Just to start with. Um, where can we change? Yeah, I'm I'm looking to change it. I am looking to change um, the difficulty because I think it's on um, the best difficulty. Continue career. Must be in here somewhere. Race options. Yeah. Oh, medium. Mm, okay, it was just on medium. Let's just... Just so we're up the front a little bit. Let's put it on 27% easy, right? I'm a new player. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no point putting it right up and being at the back. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's have some fighting. Right, we're going to go to the race. Hello 
I still think ultimately I prefer Ride 4 just purely because it's like the Gran Turismo of bikes but I do like the fact that this is focused just on MotoGP bikes um, I think yeah I mean I'm choosing 100% tyres and yet last time it chose um, the tyres the I was using from qualification So where are we actually starting on this one? Everything here is ready to start the race at turn Hello Sophie, how are you? Riders have just one more oh shit, no we don't, oh god I can't change the view while I'm in the... This is when the game comes alive, you know, when you're amongst the pack Jocelyn fucking hell for position. <laughs> no, okay, AC. You're thinking, wow, he just did that as well. <laughs> Trying it, one of the other riders. I don't have to try. Definitely, Steve. Yeah, yeah. The starts are fantastic. In fact, I like the start that much. Let's restart. The starts are fantastic. The lingering on the pit girls. Fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. It really sets the start of the race up. Just lovely, doesn't it? And they don't try and knock you off like they do in Ride 4. Um, you, we haven't got that issue here. They're not, they're not like, trying to knock you off. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Knock you off at every corner. Actually, I think if I continue playing, I would turn the names off um, for single player, but obviously leave them on for multiplayer. I mean that just looks it looks great doesn't it right power 2 <laughs> take down time That's what I'd recommend to start with. Don't beat yourself up and try and um, have the difficulty too high. Look, all of a sudden, now we're, we're, we're gaining experience, we've got track time here, we've got experience around um, other bikes, and we can put the difficulty up as we see fit when, when we feel ready. There's no point getting demoralised by being at the back all the time. Put the difficulty down and grow with the game, isn't it? That's, that would be my advice anyway. He's not happy, look. I think this is a much better effort for me. <laughs> Pushing other drivers off their bikes. Yeah, yeah, and have you seen MotoGP? Yeah, yeah, you could start on the smaller bikes, absolutely. Right, power three. We've got a little bit of extra petrol there. Whoa, fucking hell! Can you imagine that happening in real life? God, you'd shit yourself, wouldn't you? I like it. I've got no, I've got no issues with this game. Maybe apart from the price, fifty quid is quite steep. Um, but welcome to. Welcome to gaming, welcome to PlayStation, you know? Welcome to console gaming. 
there are ways of getting it cheaper. I don't mean illegal. I mean, you know, ordering it um, online, Amazon, etc. But if you want digital, 50 quid. That would be my only complaint. I think if you if you want strong competitive racing, it, it's a shame there's no ranked races or a daily race type system. Maybe that's coming. I think in a game like this, that it's missing. You would need that. The bungs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish there was um, like a daily race system or a ranked system. That would be really good. Oh. Yeah, £50 is the norm, yeah, yeah. you got rollback, you don't have to use it. I've never liked Rewind, but sometimes it does help you learn what you did on that partic wrong on that particular corner. I think you can already see improvements, though, just by practicing. They feel comfortable on the bike, that's on, on the track, that's for sure. The whole game seems set up for competitive racing up the front. You know, really close competitive racing. That's how it feels, anyway. Like the bouncing of the bikes as well, it's all replicated fantastically. I think it's fantastic that milestone are producing. It's sort of six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? It's it's amazing that there's one company out there producing MotoGP, Ride 4, MXGP20, right? Fucking fair play to them. They know what they do, they do it well, and they've cornered the market. On the other hand, it's a shame that all of these games are made by one company because they're very very similar very similar and it would be nice to have an, a fresh take uh, from another developer and another publisher on what a bike game should entail it, it's just a shame but also a great thing that there's one company out there doing it um, but what they're giving us is fantastic there's you know there's nothing wrong with this and and it's quite funny actually when I um, I did a review on Ride 4, and a lot of people hated Ride 4. I don't know what it was. It's not It's not the most successful in the series, is it? And there was a lot of... I would most definitely choose MotoGP over Ride 4 any day of the week. don't know what the main differences are. The, the handling feels similar, but this feels more planted on the track. I don't know. I like Ride 4. I like it. Yeah, a lot of people really, really disliked um, Ride 4. I disliked the AI. The AI was fucking horrendous. You know, they would have you off so much. But the game itself, I think, is... Look, look at this, the way it's gripping and bouncing. Wow. And I'm getting better as well. Yeah, I'm getting better. And one of the reasons you're better is the fact that you're not just fighting at the back. We've lowered the difficulty, and now we're sort of getting incentive now to move up, aren't we? So I would definitely recommend going on the, maybe even the lowest difficulty, just to get your wings and then start moving it up. Yeah, definitely Cyber, yeah. I think it's great, though, that Milestone are taking on and producing and delivering. Nothing wrong with that, but it would be nice to see another another take on it. <laughs> so true, Madman. So true. Look at it though. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It it, it plays well. It sounds well. It looks delicious. Um, I think with this one though, maybe you've just got to have a a real defined interest in in something like MotoGP. If you've just got an interest in bikes, maybe Ride 4 will be your home. If you want to just race, 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 then fucking hell, MotoGP could be your home instead. Chances are, if you really like your bike games, you're going to get both. Let's be honest, we're greedy bastards, aren't we? Easy, mate! Fucking hell, we'll see straight out of iRacing.
I would definitely like more of a public um, ranked setup race system. You know, like you've got in ACC, you've got the rank server. There's none of that here. There's none of that. Uh, I don't know whether that's coming, but um, I think it needs it. No illusionary. MotoGP is what you're seeing here. Track racing, all based on um, the real, the real roster. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, if you want to experience lots of different bikes and also have the opportunity to purchase DLC bikes, Ride Four is where you need to be. Exactly, Madman. That's life, isn't it? If a geezer likes his racing games, chances are you're going to get this and ride for. Um, isn't it? Let's be honest. <coughs> I feel I'm getting better, though. It's quite nice to practice playing and just reading a little bit of chat as well. I mean, I would like to bring bike racing to the channel more. I genuinely would, but it just doesn't suit the way that I like to... That I like to stream, check in chat. Oh, sorry, mate. <coughs> Hello, Nick from Malaysia. How are you? And just lowering that difficulty a little bit. It wasn't much, but just lowering it has given the game a, a fresh lease of life for me. Because rather than being demoralised, being at the back, thinking, wow, you've got such a mountain to climb, I turned it down. Now, all of a sudden, the rest of them are racing to my level, which is great. And then as we get better, oh shit, we can move it up. I think you get used to it. I would love to do more bike racing. I'd love it. I really would. Right, we've got, we can put the power up because we've got loads of extra fuel. We might even get a, uh, we might even win this if we, if we play our cards right. Oh, of course I do, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. I mean, ultimately, I would love a bike rig of some sort and play this all the time and get fucking awesome at it, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, fingers all good. Thank you, PJ. I mean, it's exciting, isn't it? Look at the racing we're having. This is um, this is as exciting, if not more exciting, than than car racing. Look at it. Look, it's just that it's harder to sustain. It'll take you longer to get there, but the rewards are there, aren't they? And yeah, if you think back to Super Hang On, um, pff, wow! Look how far we've come. Look how far. Crazy. Power two. I also suspect that from a stream point of view, if I did get competitive, which I doubt, but if I did, if I was racing like this with you lads or, you know, with the AI turned up, it's quite, I think it would be quite interesting to watch. You don't want to keep me, you don't want to keep seeing me fall off and being at the back, that's boring. Yeah, hello, um, uh, IAS, yeah, how are you? Yeah, we spoke before, didn't we? Send me one. I'll sell loads for you. Send me one. <laughs> I think we've spoke. Is yours the one that um, connects up to the desktop then? And you've got the actual hand handlebars, or have you got the full sit on one? There is, um, oh god, what's the full sit on one? It got to, um... It got, um crowdfunded I can't think what it's called it looks it, lean GP I think it's called lean GP but there's no mention of it being produced send me an email with what you've got um, IS I could always do with another rig <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
Frankenstein my real bike, yeah, that would be cool. <coughs> I'm sure it's called Lean GP. It's quite a minimal um, looking rig, but it looks really cool. I think you'd have to, if you did lean, I think you'd need possibly the screen to be on the on the bike as well. So the bike leans and everything leans, I think maybe you'd need that, wouldn't you? No, I know IS, yeah, I know. I love the mock bikes that you sat on, I love them, super hang on, yeah. In fact, let me just show you something, look, this is uh, how much I bloody liked them, look. I used to play, years ago, look, Super Cycle, that's from my Amstrad. Look at it, look, I love this sort of thing, absolutely love it. <laughs> Look cool, but did not work. Yeah, so yours is the the handlebar on the desk system, isn't it? Is that right? I think we have spoken before. Oh, shit. Yeah, definitely AC, yeah. We're getting there. Oh, shit. For Oh, you see that fire come out the exhaust in slow motion there? Yeah, full sit-on is what I would want. I don't think I'd want something attached to my desk. Because then it just becomes a bit of a pain to set up, doesn't it? Unless you've got a dedicated desk, obviously, just to that game. My tyres are fooked. Yeah, I bet, yeah. What do you use to play in VR, then? What game? Tires are fucked, aren't they? We've got a seventh, I mean that is progress, isn't it? Oh no, I get you, um, systems. I understand that. I've had loads of things that only take me a minute to set up, but you end up not doing it. I had a racing rig that you could take the front off, because um, I like flight sims as well. Really should play that more, shouldn't I, Mac Man? <laughs> um, yeah, I had a, 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 a racing rig where you could take the front off and then get the um, rudder pedals out. It would take one minute, but it's a pain. It's a pain, yeah. That's the way, that's my opinion anyway. That might not be right, but that's just my opinion. That's why in this room, I've tried to make everything so easy. That I, you know, I've got a separate rig for flight, a separate rig for racing. I don't have to do anything. I can just sit down and do it. Because I find with life busy as it is, and everything's a pain, isn't it? Even if it's small, it's like, no, nah, I'll, do, I'll do that next time. Yeah, sit on would be the way to go, I think. <laughs> Must play this more. I am going to get right into that Spitfire though. I don't know what it is. Well, we've had a few issues recently, haven't we? But yeah, it's just time. Crazy. Oh, she's slipping now. Yeah, no, I've got your systems. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Send me an, e send me an email. Send me your info via email. Right, we've gone down a place now because these tyres, look at them, look. Oh my god, that's quite a nice effect, isn't it? You're really seeing the difference in in the handling there. Really seeing the difference. Now my tyre is, is completely shot. Just can't be asked. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing, you know, and uh, unfortunately that's, that's humans these days, isn't it? We're quite lazy. I don't necessarily mean it from a lazy point of view. I just think, oh, I'll do something else instead, you know? Right, I think what we'll do is now, what's the time? I think what we'll do is, yeah, 12. We'll, um, we'll go and do some classic now. Yeah, we'll do classic. 
Yeah, I would buy one, Stephanie. I like the look of Lean GP, but you can't find them. I don't know what happened. There's some people saying it was a bit of a con. They um, they never produced them. I've got no idea. Yeah, you can't find them anyway. Hello, Fracky. How are you? Oh, well, here we go. Look, we qualified well. We did well in the race. That's progress, isn't it? And that was all from just notching down that difficulty a little bit. So um, I definitely wouldn't be scared to do that. I like I like this game. I like it. So now we could um, let's let's just have a very very quick look at this part. So this is the development section inside your headquarters. <laughs> Definitely, mad man. Yeah. Oh, can you race for me? Try and do well. So engine. Um, so we've got nodes. This is going to be like F1, isn't it? So engine, we can add a staff member there. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. We've, looks like we've got staff. Let's get Alessio on there on the case. Confirm. Back and you sure you want to develop it? Yes. Okay. So that's developing a better um, specific combustion power optimization. So that's that. We can do frame um, bits as well. Develop and install. Add staff. Obviously, Alesso is busy, isn't he? We can't do that because he's already he's already done, isn't he? So you've got this part of the the campaign as well. Hello, preplay. How are you? So that's pretty interesting. We can do the same for aerodynamics and electronics. Research. We've got um, a research area as well. Add a member of staff to that. So that's pretty good that it's got this in there. Yeah, that's cool. And not only have you got that, so you've got the campaign, which is pretty similar to F1, isn't it? But also you've got... Um, the junior team where you can get into management so there's a there's a lot of stuff here although if you you know on one hand if you come out to this menu you think okay we've just got the career just got multiplayer without any um sort of registered proper competitive um official servers we just got that a few quick modes but actually when you go into the career and you've got all that research and you've got the junior team there's there's quite a lot to do right let's end with some time trial and go into the classics. So we've got, um, I think these bottom ones might be classics as well. Oh yeah, they are, look, oh God, I love these bikes. Oh, th this is instantly smiling. This is where I'm, I'm at, actually this one to be fair. This is my sort of racing area, uh, era. Fucking love it, look at that, that. Oh God, look at Rossi's bike, look. <laughs> my favourite bike is the NSR look at it oh we've got showroom as well oh it's just there okay beautiful absolutely beautiful I don't mean the geezer is chuff I don't mean that I just mean the bike bit more um, detailed development system yeah I think it's pretty good yeah I, I like it I've got no problem with it Right, let me just have a quick look before we decide. Oh god, because we've got the RGV. Let's go RGV. Uh, where should we go? Let's go somewhere... Oh yeah, we've got historical tracks as well. We've got Mazda, Donington and Bruno. And then we've got these ones. The, the, let me just see whether my dog's barking because there's someone at the door. Two seconds. Sorry about that. 
Right, okay, so w w where should we go? Where should we go? Somewhere I know. I mean, Silverstone would be pretty good. Twin ring. Uh... We got Red Bull. Oh, we got Le Mans. Let's go Red Bull. Donington, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Uh, no, it's no, no, no split screen, no, no. <laughs> yeah, we can go to Laguna Seca. We're going to finish soon. I think we've shown you enough, really, to help make your mind up. Um, hopefully give you a bit of entertainment, give you a bit of information about the game. I like it. It's cool. If you like racing games, bike racing games, you know, you haven't got a huge amount of choice, have you? Um, but the choice that's there is pretty sweet. I absolutely loved MotoGP 20. Anything we done with it? We did the classic bikes, didn't we? Do you remember when we did online? Oh, that looks really nice, actually. <laughs> the trees look really cool. Yeah. I mean, they're normal cl crowd, aren't they? But I don't think people realise how resource-hungry crowds like that are, even in iRacing. I've put them right down to low. You don't need them, do you? You don't... It's not It's not the be-all. The be-all is here. Look at that. It looks like he's even got dirty old levers on. That's really cool. Look at that. That's where my interest is, and that's why I think I veer maybe towards Ride 4, because you can get this stuff, can't you? You know, do I like... Have I got a real interest in MotoGP as a as an absolute thing? Probably not. My interest would be with these classics. I love them. Absolutely love them. Now, some of these classic bikes are a real shit to drive. I can already feel I'm going to be kissing the floor any second. I haven't power. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, it sounds nice, and it? They sound totally different to the MotoGPs, yeah. Look at the way he's tucking in as well, because I've got him uh, old school. The leaning model, I don't like that foot out bollocks. You know, in my day, they never did that. They did this, tuck themselves right in. So I've chosen the old school uh, riding model. I'm sure there's some um, uh, some what's it called uh, <laughs> aids. I'm sure there's some aids on here that I'm feeling like auto something. Let me just go back and end the session. You know, driving aids. What have we got? Uh, no, I just felt like it. Yeah. Oh, let's get some rain. You wanted rain, didn't you? Oh, here we go. Okay, that's fine. Rainy. Perfect. So we can show you that. And then I think we've pretty much uh, shown you as much as I possibly can. I'm not too taken with the exhaust. You know the the fumes coming out the exhaust. I don't know. It, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, here we go. Oh, this would be great in first person, wouldn't it? Look at that. Oh god, I had a TZR125, Bazzy. Yeah, I've had quite a few bikes. Yeah, I love my blue TZR125. Lovely, wasn't it? Quite small, but really nice bike. Oh, look at that, where it's not getting the traction. Bloody hell. Fucking hell. Exciting. Literally exciting. Wow. Isn't that accurate for an old two-stroke? Yeah, yeah, I've got a two-stroke currently. Yeah, I've got a 46-year-old motorbike. VR would be amazing, yeah. Oh, imagine dropping this old thing. 
Yeah, of course, Marky, but I just I'm not I'm not I'm not struck with the effect because actually, two stroke is more smoke rather than sort of a uh, you know. I mean, it looks great, doesn't it? Look at the reflections in the. Is that is that ray tracing? Has, has it got a bit of ray tracing? The reflections in the puddles there look fantastic. I think it's a title that you're going to have to invest time in to get the best out of it. I, re I really do think that. It's not a it's not a casual gamer. It's not like, oh, I'll play that. I could play that once a month for an hour. You're not going to get the most out of it. This is lovely in this view. It's actually really playable in this bloody view. Oh, bloody dogs barking again. I don't know if it's because my father-in-law's out there and she's being all protective. I've got to go because uh, I'll be back in two seconds. Sorry everyone, I've got my father-in-law staying with us and um, I didn't want him to open the door without putting the dog out because she would fucking, she'd kill someone. This is, this bike and this track is actually really playable in this view. That's what I mean, I think it's, it's just practice, it's a game you practice, you know, so I think if you are going to invest 50 quid in it, just know that it's going to take quite a bit of your time if you want to get the most out of it. She's going round the neck. <laughs> it would be a bit awkward. Eva, what are you doing? Right, so I'm going to go in a minute. I think hopefully we've shown you. Is there anything else that you would like to see? I think we've shown you pretty much everything. It's a very, very impressive bike racing game. Um... That I think it's going to take a lot of time and practice for you to get the most out of. I should imagine if you do get the most out of it, you're going to absolutely love it. You know, you are going to love it. You're going to be competitive. You'll be able to take anyone on. But if you don't invest your time, you're going to be racing like I am today, which is a bit hit and miss. You know, some bits are alright. Some tracks are going to be harder than others. This is a fantastic view on this bike. Oh, my God. Well, these are the sort of streams I like. A new game comes out that you, you know some of you might be considering buying, and hopefully you come here to get an honest review. And I don't do all that scoring. I don't do recommendations. I'll just play it and let you make your own mind up. This is—it's got an addictive quality about it, though. You know, especially if you can do this view. Oh, nice Bazza. Yeah, in VR. God, can you imagine? Am I getting better, or is it just this bike and car go together? Let me take another. Now I'm on this track. Let me um, let me take another classic bike round here. Yeah, in VR it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Let me take the NSR round here. Same view. Yeah, probably settling in. And I think maybe I could do it without chat. I am getting I'm getting used to doing a little bit less chat, especially when, when racing. So maybe we could do it. That 
That looks good. The the rain splashed behind you. That's really good. This is why I like love gaming though, because that's what I used to play, you know, on the old Amstrad, looking fucking terrible. And yet the funny thing is, my mind's eye used to make that game sort of feel like this. Well, now you've got the feeling and the looks. I mean, this is better than any attempt at um, bike racing that you would ever have at, say, an arcade. I mean, this is... It's top level. It's top draw, isn't it? What well, Name another bike game, this or Ride for. There's just nothing else out there, is there? So, although you haven't got a huge amount of choice, what, cho what choice you've actually got is fucking amazing. I mean, look at this as we're coming down here. We are definitely moving into next-gen te territory now, aren't we? And it's very welcome. Oh, he's off. Yeah, probably uh, you don't chat any less ever. I know. Oh, God, look at me rear wheel. It's fucked. Yeah, I just think it's all done with love. It reminds me of... This is going to sound stupid. It reminds me of Train Sim in the fact that you can tell that the people that make train sim and develop the trains they love it don't they and i i get that feeling from this i should imagine they're all bikers that work there and love producing something like this it reminds me of it's got passion in it that's that's the way i feel when i play it, it, it it's got um it's got bikers passion in it and not just this game i mean the other ride four as well um it it comes across as very passionate And this, I could do this all day long. It's, 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 it's satisfying, it's quite exciting. Especially this view. <laughs> this view's fantastic around this track. It's just about practice, isn't it? I would love to race in this view. If I could just get used to this view, God. This is where I want to be, really, and I think it'll be interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah, more put into the vehicles and the scenery. Although, saying that, um, this is the best-looking track I've seen on here so far. Yeah, Red Bull, especially as we... Go over there and look to the right. That, that's it's as good as anything that's available, isn't it? Now this is exciting as fuck. Yeah, this is cool. This is the sort of game where time trial is going to come into its own because this is um, it's a practice game. Still going. How many times have you come off so far? No, not not many on this corner. Yeah, if you have time to put into the game, then you tend to improve. Yeah, same with anything, isn't it? But yeah, that is it, everyone. Thank you um, for watching. Let me just do one more thing. Let me go into photo mode with this beautiful bike in the rain. Um, let's even just do it there as he's sitting there. Oh, the rain isn't all that, is it? Oh, that's interesting, actually, to see how they actually model the rain in game, isn't it? Yeah, that gives you a little bit of sort of insight how they do the rain. Oh, that's a shame. The bike looks great and the smoke is spot on. Look at that. Wow, fucking hell. It's like you've got some kind of high-level CAD drawing on your PC, isn't it? And yet, it's just a PlayStation. Fucking hell. That is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely fucking gorgeous. <laughs> that's really cool. Wow. Wow. I mean, the detail there is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right. That is it, everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully it's been of use. Hopefully you've, uh, you know, it's been enjoyable to watch. It's, I wouldn't say it's a recommendation because you've got to like this. this is very niche, isn't it? You know, not, it, not only is it niche because um, it's a bike racing game, it's a bike racing game centered around one specific class, and that's the Moto GP. So it's not like, oh, go out and buy this game. If you like your bikes, if you like your bike racing, 
you're going to automatically love this game. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much. Um, will I be back later? Probably not. I'll definitely be back tomorrow. Tomorrow night, Automobilista 2 uh, Community Night. So get yourself ready for that. It's going to be fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.